five, oh, four, three, two. Arms are one of the things too. I just like when you hit failure, like it just, I, it just hits you like a ton of bricks. It's like you're okay. And then when it's like, boom, it's like you're done. going to BFR arms, okay? So a BFR protocol, I have the power cuffs on, so I'm gonna engage the cuffs, I'm gonna push them down. You wanna get these on about a seven out of 10. You don't wanna include all the blood out of 10 out of 10. You want about a seven out of 10 on each side, okay? The protocol is gonna be the first set, we're gonna do a 30 reps, second set 15 to 20, third set, third set 15 to 20, final set 15 to 20, and then we're gonna basically release until we go to the next movement. We're gonna start out with 30 reps of tricep rope press downs. I always like starting out with rope press downs just for the simple fact that this helps get everything kind of moving. Like I'm not starting out with heavy close grip benches. I'm not starting out with heavy skull crushers. I just gotta kind of wake the arms up and wake my tendons. The thing with BFR, as I use about half the weight, that's all you can do. So when you're like at a seven out of 10 on this, there's no way you can use your normal weight. I always tell people to start out with half their weight, then if they can go a little bit above that, that's fine. But that's the whole principle is that to get to the level of hypertrophy that you would with heavy weight, doing BFR training, you can't, you shouldn't be able to do it. All right guys, second set right here, we're gonna go for 15 to 20. If I can get more than 20 on the next, I'm gonna bump up the weight, okay? But around 20 should be pretty nuts though. Ooh. The crazy thing when you do this, and it's one of those things that I can explain it all day long, but until you do it, you have no idea, is that like, that's my second set of the day. And like, I can already just feel like the engorgedness of like I would two to three exercises in. And that's just the awesomeness is that like, literally, if you're somebody who has a hard time getting a pump, you wear these things and you're pumped almost instantly. <laughs> Ooh. Last step, this is how easy it is to pop these off. So I'm gonna unwrap it, the leg cuffs like a lot of people used to have to, all you do is boom, pop, and flex, and that pops. So then you're in a relaxed state, and then when you go to the second exercise, we'll tighten them back up. So that's literally how easy it is, and then when you're done with the workout, you literally just uncuff, and you're done. Pretty much, this is like a standing dip. There's not even a brand on this. I bet from the looks of this, I bet Chuck got this. I bet this is from the 60s, right? Um, I don't need three. That's too heavy. Okay. Trying to get me injured so I can't compete in two weeks. Oh, yeah. You're supposed to face this way with it, but I'm too wide and I have my insulin pump in too to where like it's gonna hit me. So we're actually, I'm gonna actually gonna face this way with it. All right. You know what? She was right. I can I can do I can do the 25. She's right. She's Yoda. The old stuff is the best stuff, man. Like I don't understand as time has gone on, things have gotten better, but sometimes you just don't mess with perfection. Like this is the perfect standing dip machine. All right, guys, third arm movement. We're gonna do four tries and four buys is we're just gonna do old school, easy bar um, skull crushers. And the thing with the cuffs is that you can't do a lot of weight, so it's gonna be easy on my elbows. Forever, it's been hard for me to do these because it just hurts my elbow so much. 
but not having to use such a high load, I'm able to do it. And this is probably my all time favorite tricep movement. So it's nice to be able to do these again. No energy. Like I just feel like my workouts always suck. Just because when you're on this little food, it's like mentally it's like go go go, but then physically it's like oh. So it's just mind over matter. And then I feel like in bodybuilding, you either think you're better than you are, or you're your hardest critic. And for me, I've never really had an ego. I just always thought of myself less than. So I think having a good balance of believing in yourself. And, you know, I mean, I know I'm good, but I just still just see the flaws and I'm very hard on myself. But then on the second end, like, I'd rather be too hard on myself than be narcissistic. That one only made 15. Oh. Oh. oh, yeah, buddy. Oh. It's so nice to get them undone and then you just feel like so pumped afterwards. Always be courteous and re rack your weights. Gym etiquette 101. Especially in Chuck's gym, because if you don't, he will rip your head off. So pretty much this is a uh, tricep extension. What we've done mostly in our triceps is work more the long head of the tricep. This really hammers that front head of the tri that's so hard to get. Um, so obviously when you work triceps, it's hard to really work one without the other. But I do think that you could put emphasis on one head more than the other. So when you're working out, I would say for me, I try to do about 75% back head of the tricep because that's the meatier tricep, but you still I want to try to get some done with that front head of that tricep right there, because especially like when you hit like your side try, yeah, you see the horseshoe, but you want that popping as well. That front head, boom! On stage, I'm just trying to flex that, just in my head mentally. Just flex on every other way on the way down. Oh. Ugh. Uh, oh, I like going tricep, bicep, tricep, bicep because like right now my triceps are toe, so then it's like, am I short changing my biceps? That's what goes through my head, right? But then I feel like when you do tricep, bicep, like I like to just keep that tension on one muscle and just da, 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 and just blow it up and then move to the neck. So I think there's pros and cons to both. On the biceps, guys. So just like I like to start with ropes on triceps, kind of like to start on rope hammer curls, just kind of get everything moving, warmed up before we hit some different stuff. Okay, cool. I honestly think it's easier to work when you're this deep in prep. It takes your mind off of just feeling miserable. To where, like, if I wasn't guest posing and doing all this stuff today. I'd literally be at home and it'd be easier. But my mind would be constantly thinking about food. It'd be constantly just feeling sorry for yourself to where if you can try to make yourself busy. It kind of sucks a little bit because it takes more out of you, but like it just makes it a little bit easier because you just have things that you have to do. So when you do that, it kind of takes your mind off of just kind of the suckiness of being a few weeks out. I love these Strive Preacher Curls. It's just super comfortable. We have one of these actually in our gym and it, just the way that it functions and the way that it hits, like some Preacher machines, I just don't feel like hit me really good, but these hit me good. So I'm gonna stick with what I know. So we're gonna do this for our second movement. Five, pull, four, 
three, two, holy balls, holy balls, oh, oh, they're on fire, oh, dude, it's just like, oh, arms are one of the things too, I just like when you hit failure, like, it just, I, it just hits you like a ton of bricks, it's like you're okay, and then when it's like, boom, it's like, you're done, you know? But the thing is that you can't get too mental about it. Like I know that I'm doing doing what I can. Um, and again, we're just trying to preserve. I'm not trying to build anything right now. I'm just trying to hang on to what I have. And honestly, the caloric burn in here and just trying just to get everything as tight as possible. That's really what you're doing. Just stimulate, like Lee Haney said, at the end, you just stimulate and go home. especially with the BFR. If you get such a good pump and such a mind muscle on this. I think it's a good combination. And when I was younger, I wouldn't be cutting dead doing cables all free weights, which free weights are great too. It all serves a purpose. to do on this and sometimes I like to do it is that we're gonna do one arm creatures with a dumbbell so literally I am gonna take a light dumbbell and I'm gonna blitz set three to four sets I'm gonna do as many as I can on my right then when my right's resting left goes right goes and then back forth back forth so I'm gonna ping pong it and I'm gonna do three to four sets to finish out Ooh. Oh. And I try to kind of turn my thumb up at the top to get more bicep peak as well. Oh, damn. Oh, dude, they are so gassed. This is rep five. Rep. Dude, there's, they are so gone. They are so gone. Oh, this is embarrassing. My right's more gone than my left, but they're both. Bottom, give me a lighter weight. I'm gonna do one more set. <laughs> so this is round three with a 10 pound dumbbell with BFR. Laugh now. Oh, but I'm so gassed. I, I don't know what else to do but laugh. Whoa. Oh, get these things off me. Get these things off me. Oh. All right, guys. You went through a BFR workout using the power cuts with me. We did four movements for biceps. We did four movements for triceps. Biceps got a little wonky at the end. We'll see you here in a little bit.